Hello viewers, welcome to Car View. Today we have with us the 7 seater XUV 700. It is a feature loaded car with level 2 autonomous features and is priced starting at 12.49 lakhs only. We have the new Mahindra Loco. This is the new grille style and here we have the front camera. The engine bay is very neat and impressive. It comes with 1999cc petrol engine and 2198cc diesel engine options. Let's look at the headlamp. This is the low beam headlamp. This is the high beam headlamp. This is the turn indicator which is sequential. So we have it here also. And this is the DRL which is similar to the XUV500 and these are fog lamps. It also has rain sensing wipers. If you can see the sensor there, that is for the level 2 autonomous features. The rear side of the car looks quite balanced and I like it personally. These are arrowhead rear lamps. This is the wiper, defoggers and brake indicator. Here is the XUV700 badging. Here is the Mahindra logo. And we can see the rear camera here. Here are two sensors on the rear side. Let's open the boot and see inside. Here is the toolbox. And we can access the wheel from here. Without folding the seats, we have a boot space of 200 liters. After folding the seats, we have a boot space of 900 liters. These are the door handles and here is the light. Let's look at the Mahindra XUV700 keys. It does not look very nice but it's okay. Here we have the lock, unlock and boot open features. On the top, we can see a sharp fin antenna with roof rails on both the sides. The spoiler design is quite good. Here we have the Adronox badging. Coming to the wheels, we have diamond cut alloy wheels of the tyre profile 23560 R18. XUV700 has a ground clearance of 200mm but I believe it could have been more. The side look is fine. This thing here looks a little bit off from the exterior. Other things are good. Overall we can go for it. The chrome inserts throughout enhances the look. These are body color door handles. The black region between these two gives it an amazing look and this chrome inserts adds to its beauty. One thing that looks odd to me is this thing. Let's go inside the car. This is the welcome feature. You can see how the seats are moving backwards for enabling comfortable ingress. After sitting on the seat, it will move forward. The interior looks very premium. Most of the places you get soft touch materials. When you see the infotainment which extends throughout the instrument cluster, and the whole layout, you will feel like you are sitting in a luxury brand car. The seats are very comfy and even the headrest. We have enough leg room and enough head room, but the thigh support is not that good. 
we have two cup holders here we have the ac vents here is the charging point and here we can keep something there is this light and the seat pockets i like the wooden look design and again finish is very good here the silver finish is looking better than chrome piano black door handles are provided these are door pockets where you can keep bottles and other stuff the sky roof is massive I am again repeating it feels like a luxury car. Mahindra should have worked more on the exterior also. When you look on road it is very similar to XUV 500 and does not have such a great road presence. It's time to check the third row. There are no lights in the back seats. There are AC vents with the fan control and here we have a charging point. Holder and at that side also we have a cup holder and an ac vent we don't have any charging point that side it is quite congested here at the back and leg room as you can see is very less the head room is also less i think uh, this seat is only for kids this is how the dashboard looks when you start the car A rotating knob is provided to control the infotainment system easily. This is a good feature. Zip, zap, zoom are driving modes just like city mode and sports mode. You get navigation in instrument cluster. Now no more moving your head for looking navigation. When you sit on the driver's seat, it feels like a proper cockpit. The gear knob is elegant and well placed. The center console is in piano black finish. This is the usual switch for opening and closing the sky roof. You also get a sunglass holder here. You can see the quality of rear view camera is very good even in low light. You can switch to different camera views on the infotainment. You also get 360 view. The view is not clear because of the cars parked nearby. You can hear the audio quality on our Instagram page given in the description. We have muted it because of copyright issues. You get different controls for different audio effects. And you can also control which side of car should have high volume and which side low by moving this joystick on screen. You can increase and decrease the sound using this knob. The handrest is adjustable. and has ample space inside you also get a tray to keep your keys 
This is the most impressive feature of XUV700 that you get dual mode ACs. You can control the throw of air differently within driver and co-passenger in case one is feeling hot and the other person is feeling cold. This happens with me a lot. I want this feature badly. You can also deactivate the dual mode. The glove box has decent space. When you lock the car using keys, the driver side window and sunroof automatically closes. XUV700 has many many features. I will explain some of the unique features only. Auto booster headlamps. When you are driving at more than 80 km per hour, the car will automatically boost the headlamps for more light throw. This is a good safety feature. Advanced driver assistance system. It includes lane assist. The car will automatically come in the lane if it misses the lane in case you are drowsy or you fall asleep. Obstacle detection sensors will detect the cars and people on road and will alert you to apply brakes and car will automatically apply brakes in case you come very close to it. It also has adaptive cruise control. When you activate cruise control, it will automatically adjust its speed with the speed of traffic. Adrenox Connect is the mobile app control feature where you can control the car infotainment and ACs remotely from your mobile. Driver drowsiness alerts will give you alert if you are feeling sleepy or when you haven't applied any response on actuators for long time. You get all wheel drive also in XUV700. This means that engine power is transferred to all the wheels. This is very useful in hill climbing and off-road drives. Smart Clean Zone is the feature in ACs of XUV700 which will clean the environment inside the cabin and protect from viruses. Blind View Monitoring All the blind spots will show in the camera which you can use in traffic. Nowadays many cars have started giving this feature. XUV700 scored 5 out of 5 stars in GN cap. It is the car with the highest GN cap scores in India. For the toughest build quality, we give 9.6 out of 10. The car is very comfortable but there's room for more, so 9.2 out of 10. Aesthetics is not up to the mark, maybe its competitors have better road presence, so we give it an 8.5 out of 10. Let's not talk about features because it has a lot of them, straight away 9.6 out of 10. When I saw the car, I thought it would be somewhere around. 20 to 35 lakhs but no it is starting only at rupees 12 lakhs so much in such a less price so it scores a 9.7 out of 10 in pricing dynamics could have been better it's not so much fun to drive suv so 8.6 out of 10 overall the car scores 9.2 out of 10 and i think this will be the highest rated car by car view for quite a long period of time overall rating above 9 is a must buy above 8 is a buy and below 8 is a don't buy please tell me in the comment section which suv you like more in design the tata safari or the suv 700 if you like the video please support us by liking and subscribing to our channel if you have any doubt or want any specific car video, please let us know in the comment box. Thank you.